We decide when and where we will go. Right here, this team, right now, every step. Splashes it through. Oh, what a big shot. Wear them down with our effort. Wear them down with the consistency of it. Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by Stellar One Bank and by UVA Health System and by GEICO and by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. On this edition of Cavalier Sports Weekly, UVA basketball exclusive. Welcome to Cavalier Sports Weekly. I'm Matera Franklin from the women's basketball team. We've got some great stories for you from Virginia Athletics. First, we'll take a look at some highlights from Winston-Salem as the men take on ACC foe Wake Forest. Coliseum. Here's a long jumper and a beauty as it was Arno Adalamoto knocking one down from 18 feet in. One and a half minutes into our opening frame. Joe Harris on the left hand dribble drives baseline, goes past the defense, banks it in with a foul. Now Kavanaugh finds an opening. He glides inside and banks it in off the window despite the late presence of the hand from Darion Acton. They spread us out and did some good things, but we even lacked some soundness there, whether it was getting lifted on shot fakes or um, gambling a little bit. Jenny rotating the ball around now, trying to get some offense working here with 13.09 to play in the half, just still five points. Here's a nice move by Akil Mitchell as he spins one way, goes the other, and then banks it in off the window with a jump hook. I was very fortunate for Virginia because they didn't have anybody guarding him. Jones with his foot on the three-point line, misses the jumper, but the offensive rebound for Mike Toby, who will kiss it right back up and in. Tuesday, 11 to 10 on the other side quickly. Here's a shot underneath. And that was Madison Jones laying one in up close. Slow down his game, a, a, a pace, a step. Inbound pass goes to Mike Toby, and he knocks one down from about 12 feet out, trailing by a point. Here's a pass to Mackay. He beats out Fisher. Three pointer on the way. He rattles it through. Look out. Deeks rotating the ball around the outside. Here's Harris at the top of the arc. Finds an opening. Let's it fly. Three pointer rattles home. Look out. Anderson at the top of the circle. Bounce pass for Toby. Toby's in the paint. Nice little jump hook inside as he uses the left hand and hits for his fourth field goal already of the night. But when the ball's in the air, he's just got to play behind. Inbound pass goes quickly to Mackay. He feeds to Thomas, and Thomas was left all alone for an easy dunk. Why they lost that game against him. Cavaliers on the other end of the floor now as Joe Harris pump takes now trying to feed it into a crowd and ultimately turns it over, taken away by Mackay. He feeds to Miller McIntyre. Now over to Fisher. Fisher comes inside back to Mackay. Pump takes, gets his man in the air, and kisses it in up close. You know, I told our guys they battled hard to get back to that spot, but don't take don't feel too good about that. I think you got to look at um, the majority of that game and learn from that and uh, grow from it. We have to. This is the Miller McIntyre. He drives. He's at the elbow now. Backs it out. Mackay sets the three pointer. That's up and good. Sit in the lane now. Beats it out left wing to Harris. Joe spinning around. Seven to play. Crossing over. Pump fakes. Nice feed down low. He sends the pass over to Mitchell, who lays it in off the window with 2.2 seconds to play. 10 to shoot for the Deacons. Harris needs to go to work. He's working on the defense from Jesperson. Step back three pointer on the way and all on that. Here comes the inbound pass. Here's Mackay putting up another tough shot. This time he gets the roll and the foul as he's going to go to the line for a chance at a three point play. And that's the, that's the, the problem. There's 
Jesperson since. Speaking of turnovers, how about another sloppy one as Jesperson's pass just went right off the hands of Atkins and out of bounds. Uh, we looked inside. We tried to, again, either we turned it over or we probably forced before much of anything else could happen offensively for a lot of the possession. With 15 turnovers and only 11 shots, Makai speed down low to Adala. Moto lays it in with the reverse layup up close. So it's now a 14 point lead. Still plenty of time left. I think he's just handling possession by possession. Contested jumper from Harris. Won't go, but what a putback from Justin Anderson, who flushes it through with a one hand jam. Here's a backdoor feed, goes right back inside, and a layup underneath for Cody Miller McIntyre. Athletes could take advantage of the numbers advantage. Here comes Evans scooping the shot high off the window and good. That's John Tell's first points of the night. And Mitchell feeds it off to Evans. Evans into the front court. Passes to Harris. Harris travel. They're going to get him for a travel when he pump fake the shot and tried to make his move on the drive. He turns it over. 2-10 to go down by five. Lot pass inbound to Nolte and he missed the easy stick in. Boy, Virginia had three up close shots on that possession alone and missed them all. On the road, you need to be able to make shots. Well, Cavaliers with a basketball. Evans goes into the air, feeds it out to Nolte. Here's a three pointer and finally one goes down. Nolte knocks it down from the far wing left. John tells into the front court, hands it off to Nolte. Nolte will pass to Harris. Harris pump fakes. Now he gets to the top of the arc. Fires from three and knocks down a three pointer as he splashes it through. So Joe pulls his team back to within three. It's inside of 13 seconds to go. Bumps into the front court. Need a quick shot one way or another. Evans will look to feed it off to Harris. Harris fires up a three and he hits it from the near wing right. 6.3 seconds to go. It's not over yet, folks. It's down to a one. One point ball game, 55 to 52. Harris to pull the inbound trigger. He'll send it into Evans. Evans races into the front court. He feeds to Nolte. Nolte lost it. Here comes Harris putting up a desperation three off the mark, and that's going to do it. We were outplayed for the majority of that game, 35 minutes, you know, and I think um, the effort was was okay, but the soundness is what was lacking. I have to have two good days of, of preparation and. You know, Clemson's coming off of a tough loss against Duke on the road, so you know we'll go in there and that'll be a hostile environment and they're very physical and, and um, you know they play real hard, so we'll have to come in and play better. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Welcome back to Cavalier Sports Weekly. During the season, student athletes have full schedules of competition, preparation, and class. Here's an inside look as Anthony Gill prepares for a practice. Hey everybody, it's Anthony Gill. Uh, we're here at my house right now. Uh, it's Thursday about 2 o'clock. Practice starts at 3.30. We're going to show you my pre-practice -pre routine and how it is in the life of Oahu. Alright, so now we're leaving the apartment, headed to JPJ. Got to get some work in. But the good thing about this apartment complex is there's a gas station right here, so a lot of the times my gas my gas tank is on E, so I don't really have to like turn the car on. I just put it in neutral and roll down the hill right into the gas station. All right, so this week we'll be preparing for North Carolina first conference game of the year, so it'll be good to see, see where we're at and everything like that, to see where our, how, how good our competition level has to be. You take a good picture on the first day because it's going to stick with you for the rest of your life. <laughs> right now, we better go get tape. That way we don't get hurt in practice. Ethan Saliva, he's one of, one of the best trainers in America. We're going to go in here, hear what he has to say. Justin. All right, so now we're done with that. Now we're gonna go try to get a little bit bigger in the weight room with Coach Curtis. Do a couple exercises in there before practice. 
Now we have all the freshmen right here warming up the weights. Getting ready to get big out here. So they can co compete with this competition. Yeah, fellas, I see you, fellas. You can't, you can't find a smile like this just anywhere. Oh yeah, we got Brad handing out the gear. Just in case you never met Brad, that's Brad right there, Brad Gaskell. Putting in work. Can I get some gear, Brad? Best, best equipment manager in the nation, right Brad? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And we're back. UVA basketball exclusive. There we go, that's one. All right, time for practice. So we're gonna head out on the main court now, get to work in. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by UVA Health System. We're for fans everywhere, and we're for the Cavaliers. Welcome back to Cavalier Sports Weekly. The men's basketball team opened up their ACC season with a victory over North Carolina. Here are the highlights from Sunday Night Basketball. to be defensively his ability to put pressure on the paint um, and get in there that you know that stood out and he made some floaters um, or made one floater some drives and we got he got us some great looks and that makes all the difference in the world Our guys, they, they did compete. We were a little shaky offensively in that first half, um, and too many turnovers. But the way they uh, they fought, and um, you know, you guys don't know this, but Akil's ankle, and I don't know if I want to see it now. I did not think he was going to play. He sprained it pretty bad, and it was swollen. And he um, he, he said, I want to try it, and he warmed up, and um, he went on a lot of adrenaline. So I really respect how what he did for us with that ankle. Air ball on the other side. This one misses, picked up off the floor. Car Cavaliers going the other way. Here's a lob underneath the Mitchell, who stuffs it down with a two-hand slam on the alley-oop pass. And the roof is getting ready to come off of the John Paul Jones area. 7-18 to play here in the opening frame. John Till has a nice backdoor feed. It goes from, to Harris, and Harris throws it down with a thunderous two-hand jam. I don't even know where that came from, really. I just was up there, might as well. Yeah, I was joking with you saying I was getting too old now, but I mean, that might be my only one for the year, but we'll see. Far side of Hairston Pump making. He feeds out to Bullock, and Bullock is true as he drains the three pointer from the head of the arc. Try to tie or get the lead with a three ball. Anderson has two defenders on it, feeds to Toby. Toby fires from three, and he rattles it through. Michael Toby gives Virginia the one point lead. Opponents are single digits and fast break points. Here's a turnover. Toby trying to set it down low. Taken away by Strickland. Speaking of fast break, he's going to have a shot. Blocked from behind by Anderson and out of bounds off of Carolina. Still has 
Gibbs has dribbled, but instead passes off top of the arc to Strickland. Crossing over on Harris, goes by and pulls up, shows some nice quickness and nice touch as he drills the 17-foot jumper for his first points of the game. And then finish with a nice soft touch. Here's a steal. McAdoo steps in front of the pass from Jones to Mitchell. He'll take it on the other side and lay it in for an easy layup. You know, they needed to understand that you know, get going. I mean, let's play with some assertiveness. Let's handle the ball better. Let's. I, I thought defensively and offensively, it was was so shaky. And Brooklyn's got the basketball now for the Tar Heels as they rotate it around on the perimeter. Page steps inside the arc. Pump fakes now feeds to Bullock, who drills a big three-pointer from a far wing left. Evans dribbles between the legs. Now feeds it off to Mitchell. Mitchell trying to back his way in. Feeds it out to Evans. Evans puts up a teardrop in traffic and gets the roll as he floats it over the front iron and good. Buff second bucket of the night. It's Tonight, you know, I just took it upon myself to go at my own pace, you know, uh, take what the defense gives me, and, you know, I was able to get layups and get guys great shots. 20-19. to 19. Behind the bank dribble from Harris. He'll feed off to Jesperson around a screen. Three balls up and good. All nodded at 36. Harris pump fakes. Now he takes it down underneath. Draws some contact and fakes it in with a foul. Two sophomores, we get three sophomores, Cavaliers with five true freshmen. Seven to shoot, Jontel Evans pulls up just inside the free throw line and rolls it over the front iron and good. Three down there underneath for Mitchell, he passes off to Evans. Evans to Nolte, long three-pointer on the way and good. Evan Nolte with a big-time three-pointer from two steps behind the arc. I came down as open bub, kind of tossed it to me a little earlier than I would have liked to. And I, you know, I didn't take a dribble. I just kind of hit a one-two and then pulled up. It was, it was deep. Um, just make it, right? <laughs> so if you know you get it up and a guy's got his feet set, there's a probably three guys on our team that I'll say that's that's a good shot to take. He's one of them. Defense, even better offense there. John Tell Evans feeding to Nolte. Another three-pointer on the way, and he bangs it home from the far side. Here's Harris, top of the arc. Harris drives inside, draws the whistle. He will bank it in with a foul. You know, they really were doing a, a good job of pressuring up on me and not allowing me to have any, you know, room and rhythm looks, anything like that. And, uh, uh, you know, all my offense really came just attacking the basket. Takoto, Tokido passes it off then. Strickland on the far wing left, sends to Bullock. Bullock uncorks another three and another beauty from the top of the arc. Somebody's got to get a hand in his face. Rebound. Bullock got in there and came up with it. Joe Harris takes it down the lane, floats it off the window using the right hand as he banks it up and in to give the Hoos a three-point lead. Inside of two minutes to go now, Jesperson attacks down the lane, uses the left hand and floats it high off the window and good. What a play as Jesperson nice it right into the heart of the Carolina defense. I came off a screen, they set a really good screen, hit the defender, um, and the big didn't really step up too much, so I just tried to you know put it on the floor, get to the lane, and something good happened. Here's the inbound pass, he'll go to Nolte, now to Mitchell. Mitchell will dribble into the front court, and that will do. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. You are the foundation. Welcome back to the Cavalier Sports Weekly. I am Morgan Moses from the Virginia football team. I have decided to return to the University of Virginia as a fourth year this fall. Here's a look on how I made my decision. I just try to go out there and dominate the person in front of me. Just try to play hard, get it all, all I can get. First of all, you just gotta, you know, put put your heart in, into the field and work hard at what you do and become a, you gotta actually become a pro before you come become a pro on the football field in college. You know, it's not one little thing you can work on, you know, you gotta work on your all around game. You, you know, every day you can get better. If somebody says you can't get better at this, and they're just lying to you. Go, outside number. The process was, it was a long process, but at the end of the day, I felt that my better football was ahead. So, uh, you know, coming back to the University of Virginia for my last year was a big deal for me so I can graduate and uh, walk out here with a degree. It 
it takes one injury. Uh, I mean, as you know, this year I had that freak accident in the North Carolina game, and it just takes one injury like that just to do away with your career. So having that degree as a backup plan is a huge uh, deal for me. Every year, you, you know, you try to win every game, and you know, you're trying to get to that that big stage of the ACC championship. This break will definitely help help the guys realize that uh, it's not fun to be uh, not playing in, in bowl games in the winter. So I think the guys will come back with a, a understanding and a work ethic to reach our goals for next year. Thanks for watching Cavalier Sports Weekly. We have some great home games this week, so come out and support the Cavaliers. Women's basketball faces ACC foe NC State on Sunday. Men's basketball takes on Florida State next Saturday, January 19th. And swimming and diving host North Carolina next Saturday. We'll be back next week with more great stories and highlights from Virginia athletics. I'm Atara Franklin, and until next time, go Hoos! Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by Stellar One Bank. In banking, there's good, better, and stellar. Visit Stellar One Bank today to see the difference. And by UVA Health System. We're for fans everywhere, and we're for the Cavaliers. And by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. You are the foundation.